Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I want to show you how to make this cute paper pieced um, and stitched photo mat. So I'm starting out here with the Boho Baby Collection from Simple Stories and a piece of cardstock that is seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. And you won't end up seeing any of this cardstock, so you can use whatever scraps you have on hand. And then I have some pattern paper that I have trimmed down to um, one inch wide. And then the length doesn't really matter. I used all different lengths on this project, but you do want it to be about an inch um, in the width. So I place those two pieces on the corner there and then to miter the corner I just use a ruler and a craft knife to cut through that first layer of paper to make the corner mitered instead of, I guess, unmitered. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. But I'm going to do that again here on this corner. Just trim off that top layer, that little triangle there. Uh, one thing about the adhesive that I put on here, if you notice I put it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge and I did that on purpose because I want to stitch around the perimeter of this photo mat and I didn't want to stitch right through the the adhesive because it just it'll gum up my machine so I moved that so it is anyway I placed the adhesive away from the edge so that I can still uh, use my sewing machine and stitch around the edge so again I'm just taking random pieces of pattern paper as I mentioned before these are all from the boho baby collection from simple stories this is a brand new collection. In fact, I don't think it's in stores yet, but it will be coming soon. This is an adorable collection for either you know, a boy or a girl, even um, toddlers and children. And I think I might even challenge myself to do a like an, a layout that is not themed for a baby or a child. Let me know in the description or in the comments below if that's something you would like to see here on my YouTube channel. I think that would be kind of a fun project. So I'm just mitering that last corner and trimming off that one piece. So here in just a second, I actually make a mistake on this frame that I didn't realize at the time, but I did go back and fix it later. So it's that piece of blue star pattern paper. And I didn't want to use that pattern paper because it blends in with the background that I chose too well. So later on, before I took the still shots, I fixed that, but in the video, I did not get that fixed. But just know I, I replaced that one little piece of pattern paper so it didn't blend in the, in the background. And you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. So I am using this piece of light blue star pattern paper. And you can tell just right now that that one piece just blends into the background and I just wanted to fix that. So the reason that um, I made this, that the frame or the mat a little bit bigger is because I wanted a four by six photo to fit in the center. And I still wanted quite a bit of that, um, that cute patchwork mat to, to show. So here just a minute ago, I took that the photo mat over to my sewing machine and I stitched around the perimeter and then I stitched along all of the um, seams. So when there was a different pattern paper connecting, I stitched on both sides of that 
um, pattern paper and you'll be able to see that a little bit better here in the close-ups in just a minute. So I'm taking that um, my ruler and just making sure that I have everything straight. I want to make sure my title is straight and that my photo mat is straight as well. So the title on this project is just Little One. These are foam stickers from the Boho Baby Collection. Oh, one thing I did want to mention about the this collection. I will go, I will leave a link to it in the video description below. Make sure you hit the notify me button at scrapbook.com and then they will email you or text you when this collection uh, is in stock and you can, so you can order it. Um, anyway, but just make sure you click that notify me button. I love, I love clicking the notify me button. I have lots and lots of products that I am waiting for them to come in stock and that doesn't mean that you have to purchase it. Um, it's just nice to to know when they've got um, a new product that you're excited about uh, in it comes into the store. So I'm taking this tag and um, I just cut it out from the tag pattern paper that comes with this collection and it's really the the top of the tag that I am after because I'm using this cut apart piece um, for my journaling. I do not show the journaling on this layout, uh, not because it's overly personal, but I just, this is my nephew and I don't want to give details about when he was born um, because he's, I mean, he's kind of my baby, but I'm not the parent. So, um, anyway, the, the journaling won't be shown on this project, but I do show you how I put it on the page. So, it is going to be hidden journaling. I really wanted the photo to be, to really shine on this pro, on this project. And that's part of the reason I put the journaling on it is hidden because I really, I just want the focus to be on that sweet photo of, of my nephew. So I am making a pocket uh, behind the photo to, um, for this journaling tag. So I just used some washi tape to tape it in place. And then I'm using some foam adhesive, um, just a roll of adhesive foam to put around uh, the tag to create a pocket. I just am using, make sure you use um, non-stick scissors or just say one pair of scissors to use on adhesive like that so that you're not ruining your, your good pair of scissors. Um, this foam adhesive, I can't even remember where it, what manufacturer it is but it's not one that I recommend, so it won't be linked in the description box below. I'll link everything else, but I'm not gonna link that foam adhesive. It's not, it's not great, it's not what I prefer, so I will only link things that I love in, in the description box. And I am waiting for, my preferred foam adhesive is either Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L, um, foam squares, which I do use here momentarily, but for like rolls of adhesive or foam adhesive, I use um, scrapbook.com. So there's that little um, rocking horse die cut and I cut out the white cardstock portion under like the belly of the rocking horse. I just didn't like the look of it and I wanted to see the pattern paper through that. So I used a craft knife and cut that, um, cut that out. So I'm using some um, Heidi Swap ribbon and I didn't want it to be like a silky smooth finish. I wanted it kind of distressed, I guess, wrinkled, I don't know. So I just took a little bit of spray of water in a spray bottle and sprayed the 
ribbon and kind of um, squished it in my hand and then that makes it kind of um, wrinkled and distressed. Um, anyway, I think that's a cute, a cute way to use that ribbon. Okay, so now back to embellishing. I don't put a lot of embellishment on this project because as I mentioned earlier, I really, really want the photo to shine. So I add a little tiny bit of embellishment. I mean, just a few, very few embellishments in the bottom left corner of the photo. And then one, just a file tab, you can see it there in the top right corner. And that's really all the embellishment that I do. Um, I just wanna make sure that, that that cute photo stands out. So I've got these adorable little baby socks. I thought those would be cute, just right there under, like on the rocking portion of that rocking horse. And I just adhered that with um, some liquid glue. So I'm just going through the die cuts. I kind of want something in between those two words. And I go back and forth as to whether I want something or if I don't, if I do want something, what do I want there? So you'll see me kind of play around with this um, off and on as I finish the project. But I'm looking through, there are actually three die cut packs in this collection. There's a rainbow and stars uh, journaling die cuts and then just the regular die cuts, which is what I'm looking through right now. And I'm just looking for a few little bits to add to that embellishment cluster at the bottom left and then possibly something to go in between those two words. And I just play with it a little bit. Um, I, I go back and forth, I'm, I'm indecisive and can't, anyway, had kind of a hard time with that one, with that one little section. So there's that cute, cute teddy bear, um, looks like a, a little teddy bear toy. And I do end up using that, but I did move it. So I've got, there's that cute lion that has the little bow, blue bow on it. So I tuck that right there behind, kind of behind that rocking horse and attach it with a, just a some foam adhesive. And then just move that little bear uh, toy die cut over to the other side. So at this point I noticed that I this layout is really off balance. It was way too far to the left. So I cut a one inch strip off the right and I'm just going through the pattern papers in this um, collection to see what, what pattern I could add to kind of even that out. So I have this, um, oh, it's kind of a terracotta colored paper that I've already cut the center out of it for another project. I will often do that and cut the center out before I'll cut into like a corner of the paper just for this reason so that I can still use it as a background with either a cardstock center or another pattern paper. And I find that that works really well for me and it kind of stretches the collection pack, I guess, by giving me more uh, options for backgrounds. So I just took a piece of double-sided tape, about half inch, and adhered that to, um, to the background. I wanted to show you this. I did this frame um, off camera, I wanted it, I was thinking about doing, using it for this project, but then I wanted something bigger. But that is a cute option. And I zigzag stitched at the seams of the paper instead of straight stitching. So that would be another fun option to do this cute um, paper pieced frame. 
So I just stamped the date on that little file tab and I'm just adding that to the top there. And then I wanted just a couple more um, stickers. I wanted to embellish the little tag a little bit and then wanted to see if there's any other little tiny bits that would be cute on this project. So I used that little sticker, I think it says Heaven Scent, and just put that at the bottom of that tag. And then I'm just flipping through this sticker book. It's such a cute sticker book. Um, I really, I love this sticker book. I think they're a lot of fun. So I thought about putting that Love You sticker there at the bottom, but it was kind of, it was bold. It was not exactly what I was looking for. I didn't want to detract from the photo. So I've got the adhesive brads now, and I want to kind of cover up the hole on that tag, even though the, it's got ribbon in it. I thought it would be cute to add one of those adhesive brads. So I used some liquid glue to stick that um, adhesive brad to fabric. I don't use any additional adhesive if I use that. Um... Oh goodness, I just... Anyway, if I'm putting on paper, I don't need liquid adhesive. So I finally find the perfect embellishment for that in between those two words. And I've got that navy puffy heart sticker that um, I think is adorable. So I go through and kind of think about adding some more bits and pieces. And I think I just decide at this point that the layout is... Oh, no, one more sticker and then this project will be complete. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I am so appreciative to you for watching my videos and uh, supporting me here on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't done so already, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload a new video every Sunday and then usually one or two throughout the week. And it really does help my channel if you um, hit that subscribe button. So thank you again so much for stopping by and I will see you again soon.